The Estado Macapagal is the ninth president of the Philippines. He was elected as a president on the 14th day of November, year 1961, with 3,554,840 votes, or the 55% of the electorate. His inauguration was December 30, 1961, at Reno Grandstand, Manila, at the age of 51. Makapagal graduated from the University of the Philippines and University of Santo Tomas, both in Manila, after which he worked as a lawyer for the government. As a president, Makapagal worked to suppress graft and corruption and stimulate the Philippine economy. He introduced the country's first land reform law, placed the peso on the free currency exchange market, and liberalized foreign exchange and import control. The first contribution of President Tristado Macapagal in the field of science and technology is that he signed a law to establish the Philippine Science High School in 1964 by the Republic Act RA3661, or also known as the PSHS Charter. This charter mandates the PSHS to a secondary course with emphasis on subjects pertaining to service offered on a free scholarship basis with the end in view of pertaining its students for a science career. The main goal is to unlock and develop the full potential and talent by its scholar students. The PSHS curriculum of special sciences enhances a compassion for the scholars to learn which will inspire them to properly choose their future careers on science and technology which will make contribute in the development of our country. When it comes to globally competitive environment that is characterized by excellence performance by its students, the PSHS is needed and specifically in collaborative leadership, outstanding facilities, resources and support alliances, and marvelous commitment for the nation. One of the important achievements in the field of science and technology under the administration of Justado Nakatagal is the House Bill No. 1810, which is an act promoting the growth of a biotechnology industry in the Philippines and for other countries. It helps shape the Philippines as a nation by developing novel products such as safer, more effective pharmaceutical, lesser capital-intensive crops, and lesser polluting industrial and agricultural production systems. With growing concerns about climate change, non-renewable energy sources, dwindling freshwater supply, increasing population and environmental protection, biotechnology has become an important component in scientific research and technology. One of the contributions of Justado Macapagal is the works on graft and corruption to suppress it and to stimulate the Philippine economy. He placed the peso on free currency exchange markets, encouraged exports, passed the country's first land legislation, and sought to curb income tax evasion, particularly by the wealthiest families, which cost the treasury millions of pesos yearly. By promoting and establishing his reforms, he shaped our country most especially inside the government where problems occurred, occurred mostly. To encapsulate the late President Justado Macapagal School is to achieve national economic and social progress with prosperity reaching down to the masses. He established laws that is related to science and technology to aid in his objective, enabling Filipinos to achieve greater heights. By establishing the PSHS and giving scholarships, he created opportunities for students to excel in courses related to science and technology. He developed the growth of biotechnology industry, allowing economic growth and suppressing graft and corruption to stimulate the Philippines' economy. Once again, I am Jamie Claire A. Cajipo. And I am Francesca Mabes. I am Aya Carmela P. Sabas. I am Maria Nina Alexa D. Kabaging. I am Trisha Nicole S. Calonia. I am Ganette Nicole Sibudai. We are the group two.